Welcome to another lesson by YourTechVision.com and today we're going to go over the different, the three different toggles that you have for your braille display and one's going to put you into braille mode and you're going to be able to do all your brailing. One's going to be able to put into Nemeth code uh, and do all your Nemeth math very short and easy. And the other one is going to be what you're basically going to be using for UEB math. The first thing we want to do is insert six and look at your settings. Or next John settings center dialog. Search box settings. Type of text. Control shift D to set for default. And then you want to go ahead and type in Braille. At this point, I can Braille also. Enter. And then you want to go ahead and down arrow to brow mode. Computer, braille mode structure, general braille. So there's different ways to go ahead and access these. You can continue to down arrow and access them one by one or hit your F6 to jump over. On your output, I have UEB grade two and the input UEB grade two. Uh, there is an option that says show current word in computer braille uh, and that is checked, but you're not able to get into it if you're already in UEB grade two. You can change those options to another uh, grade and of course go right to that checkbox and then check it. You need to be in structured braille mode. You need to have active cursor follows braille cursor, uh, braille display checked, and braille cursor follows active cursor checked. If you're more advanced, you can have whatever you want. But for beginner students, uh, they are often working with personnel that does not know braille or does not know braille well. And when you have those two uh, boxes checked, you can actually have the literal cursor follow along in the text. And so the uh, sighted person who is just learning Braille along with the student can learn it also. Of course, I say this, um, and there always must be a certified Braille instructor, uh, TBI, that's working with the student in order to teach them how to read and write Braille correctly. Okay, so at that point, I'm gonna go ahead and hit escape. When you change anything, always make sure you do Alt-A to apply it before you escape. Now, while I'm here, I could also do the status option and let me tell you why. When you first turn on your Braille display, you're going to have characters that you don't understand what they are. And you have to go in about four or five Braille cells in order to start reading your sentence. Uh, now, when you're in a table, that's incredibly helpful. When you're a beginner student, it's basically confusing. So I'm going to shift tab and I'm going to type in status. Okay. And I'm going to go down to the placement. Now, once again, you F6 over there or you hear none and you can go ahead and up arrow and down arrow and change that. But you want none. Then you don't have any of that, uh, any of those dots on the left, basically telling you the status of where your cursor's at. Once again, for beginner students, it's typically very confusing and they don't get into tables for a while anyway. But once uh, you do get into tables, you do want the status of that because you do want uh, the status bar to tell you what column and row you are in. But to begin, have none. Once again, Alt A to apply that. So now we're gonna get hit escape, F, escape. hit escape and get out. Okay. Right off the bat, now uh, from other lessons, you should know this is just like a Braille writer. So you have one, two, three, you have your pinky, which is back, say, space. That also changes to dot seven when you do several commands together, which I'll tell you. And then on the right hand, four, five, six, and your pinky. Now the key in between your dot one and four is a configuration button. So just stay off of that. That's for more advanced kids when you uh, understand how to configure your Braille display. So we're talking about the different modes that you need to toggle between. You do a G, you do that backspace changes to a dot seven when you use it in combination with other keys. So a G and a dot seven with your pinky and your thumb, you can choose whatever thumb you want and the space bar. Okay, so it's four keys. You need to do them all together and I want you to listen. Off, okay, so that said off. This is when you can go ahead and go into Nemeth code. Now let's go over how direct Nemeth code is. If you have ever compared Nemeth code to UEB math, you know it is approximately 50% less characters. So we're in Nemeth code and we're going to just do out a simple math problem. Everything, all the numbers are done in the lower cells. So number one is going to be dot two. So I'm going to do one. 
a period is going to be four six. Period. Okay, and then I'm going to hit my space bar. Space. Let's go ahead and do a simple math problem. Now in Nemeth code, everything is bunched together, but we are having kids output for the sided world. So let's just do something really easy like five plus three. So five, lower five. cell, do a space, plus three, four, six, plus do a space, space, do three, which is gonna be two, five, three. do a space, equal sign is one, two, three, four, five, six, equals space. and a space, and of course, you're gonna put your space. answer, okay? Uh, very easy, and that's literally only if you read from the Braille display. It is a one, and then you have a space, you have dot four six, you have five, you have a space, you have a plus, you have a space, you have a three, space equals, and an eight. That direct, that easy. Now, let's go ahead and just compare this to UEB Math. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Okay, now you're going to be listening for on for display. That's going to take you to UEB Math. One more thing before I go out of here, you have three modes and this really confuses people because when they want to just braille and they try to do a dot six, they hear a comma. So anytime you hear a comma, when you do a dot six, just know you're not in the right mode. So I wanna do a capital, let's just do a capital word. We'll do ball. So I'm gonna do a uh, dot six and you're gonna hear comma. That immediately tells you, you are not in braille mode. You're not going to be brailing. Uh, with contractions. This is uncontracted. Okay, so let's just do B A L L. B A L L. Okay, it's just a word. You can't capitalize. You have to go into a different mode. So, right off the bat, if you hear uncontracted, you are not in the correct mode. Let's hit enter. Ball, enter. Now, let's do G and dot seven and space again. On for display. Okay, on for display. This is where you're going to do UEB math. We're going to do the identical. Uh, math problem. But before we begin, once again, I always tell my people, just hit dot six. If you hear comma, you know you're still not in the correct mode to do contracted UEB Braille. Let's hit dot six right off the bat. Comma. Guess what? You're doing a comma because we're going to do UEB math. So let's type it again. E -A -L -L. Okay. And Ball enter. Maker. Now let's go ahead and do UEB math. Okay, you actually don't do the number sign when you're brailing. But when you do the one. dot one and you do a four Period. six and you do a space Eight. on the braille display, it's literally number sign one, and then you have a lower D for a period, and then you have a waiting cursor. So let's go ahead and continue to braille. Let's do five, five. you're gonna do a space, and you're going to plus. do a plus, space. space, and you're going to do three. a three. So you can still braille using the fast method and eight. an eight. However, whoops. Space, eight. You're going to do the equal sign equal, space, and then eight. eight. Now, but your output is UEB Braille. You have the number sign one, you have a lower period, and you have a number sign five space dot four, a lower two, three, five for your plus and a space, a number sign, a three, a space, a dot four, a lower G for the equals, a space, a number sign, and an eight. It is approximately twice as many, sometimes more characters in order to read. So you need to understand that. We're going to go into braille mode now. Once again, uncontracted and on for display. Anytime you need to check to make sure you're, whether you're in or out, all you have to do is hit dot six. If you hear comma, keep toggling. Now we're going to hit enter. You're going to do G dot seven and space again and listen. On for input. On for input. Now we are in Braille. Now when you output, know that when you hit your dot six, you are going to hear dot six and it will not do, go into contractions until you actually hit space bar. Six. Dot six. Now. E, e, S, I, I. S -E. Notice nothing output yet. Hit your space e. bar and it types. So let's go ahead and just braille out. And of course, you always want to have the child do a heading. So let's do Control N for a new document. Control N. Document two dash words. Print edit. Okay. Now let's go ahead and type out their names. Once again, your dot six is always going to be your clue on whether you're in the correct mode or not. So just hit dot six. Dot six. Okay, just know that Braille is the only one that will say dot six. The other toggles are going to say comma. So let's just type out e, the name. E -S -I, S -I. 
S design. I S E. Denise. It also will not braille out until you hit your space bar. Stop six. R O D I N sign. S O N Robinson. Okay, and hit my enter. enter. Okay, and we're going to do. Stop six. M A T H sign. Matt. Okay, we're going to do math. Enter. Enter. After they type in their heading, and it needs to be usually the date and other items also, now we're going to change modes back to math. And we're going to do the G, the dot seven and space. Off. Okay, off. That's what we want. And we want to go ahead and start doing Nemeth. One, period, space, two, plus, space, three, equals, space, and of course, you want to combine this with abacus if they don't understand number concepts yet. Enter. Two, period, space, one, dash, space, one, autocorrect, colon, and dash, and dash. Okay, when you have the autocorrect of dash to end dash, do explain that to the child. That is just visually changing from a short dash mark to a longer one. This is the default on most machines, so don't change that configuration in your computer. Just teach it to the child on what it means. Space. Zero. Enter. Okay, and so the child is going to go on and con continue to do all the math problems, pulling out the abacus, solving the problem, and then railing in the answers. So once again, you want, let's do G.7 in space. For display. Okay, on for display, basically stay away from that one for beginners. On for input. On for input. That is what you're using for Braille. And to test it, just hit your dot six and make sure it says dot six. Dot six. Let's do it again. Off. Off. That's what you're going to use for math. And you can Braille out your math. You're going to use off for Nemeth code. When you're teaching UEB math, you're going to go on for display, which brails out uncontracted, but it changes to UEB math. It will be twice as long as Nemeth code. So those are the different toggles for your focused 40.